Imagine you walked into your job on Monday and said to your boss, Hey, listen, I know how you always like for me to get all the work done that you have for me to do. You got the work routine for us. But I was thinking that instead, I would take care of some things that I need to take care of. Uh, some work I have to do for myself. Maybe, maybe do some texting. Um, watch like five videos on YouTube. Then, I thought I would take a two-hour lunch today, meeting some friends over at Applebee's. And since I'm going to be out that long anyway, I think I'll just take the rest of the day off and down to the beach. Really need to get a tan. That wouldn't be a problem, would it? How do you think that would go over? Probably not too well. Do you think your boss would accept your personalized work routine? You setting the rules? Not a chance. Could you even expect to still get paid at the end of the day? I would think not. See, when it's presented like this, it's not hard to understand. So then why, when it comes to religion, do people think they can make up whatever religion they want, picking and choosing what they want to follow and what they want to ignore, and then think that at the end of their life, God will accept that from them? Does that make any sense? In the Quran, Allah is very clear on this point. And whoever seeks a way of life other than Islam, submission to Allah's will on his terms, it will never be accepted of him. And in the hereafter, he will be among the losers. I've heard people say things like, God doesn't care if you pray five times a day. You can just pray whenever you want. Or, come on, God's not going to care if you have one drink. One drink? Oh, really? Who gave you the authority to speak on God's behalf? Do you have any proof to support those claims? In the Quran, Allah says, Say, the things that my Lord has forbidden are shameful deeds, whether done openly or in secret, and sin, and unjust oppression, and that you associate with Allah that for which he has not sent down authority, and that you say about Allah that which you do not know. We are certainly in no position to say that we know what Allah wants based on nothing but a guess, and we have no authority to decide what is right and what is wrong. Some people just want to follow their own way of life, thinking, I know what's best for me. Who knows me better than I know myself? Do you think you know better than Allah? Doesn't the Creator know His creation? Allah knows what's best for you, and for me, and for everybody. Allah is giving you something beautiful that will benefit you, that will bring you peace and real satisfaction in this life and the next. Sadly, a lot of people hold themselves back from following Allah because of their own wants and desires. See, these days everybody wants Burger King religion. Burger King religion? You know, have it your way. It's all about what I want, what I get out of the deal. People are so focused on how can religion serve me, when they should be asking, how can I serve my creator? Allah says, And I did not create the jinns and mankind except to worship me. Allah created you and gave you everything you have in your life. And not just your Xbox 360 and your iPhone. I mean the parents who raised you. The food you eat, the bed you sleep in, the air you breathe. All of this comes from Allah. After all of that, don't you owe it to Allah to follow the way of life that He has also created for you? Doesn't Allah deserve to be worshipped the way He wants to be worshipped? This is part of the beauty of Islam, that Allah has made a perfect way of life for us, and that we can worship Him constantly, but we don't need to sit in a corner praying day and night to do so. You don't have to stop living your life to be Muslim. Allah does not wish difficulty upon us. This is mentioned repeatedly in the Quran. Allah intends for you ease and does not intend for you hardship. Allah does not want to place you in difficulty. Worship in Islam is not limited to prayer and fasting, but extends into every part of life. Everyday things like working hard to support your family, being kind to your parents, uh, recycling. Even a smile can be a form of worship. As long as you live your life as Allah wants you to live, everything you do, if it's for the sake of Allah, is a way of serving your Creator. Now, if this all makes sense to you, if it sounds right, you're thinking, you know, I might want this way of life for myself. Then I invite you to Islam. Submission to Allah's will on His terms. Putting what He wants before what you want. For all the non-Muslims out there, go to yourmuslimneighbor.com and get your free translation of the Quran in English or Spanish totally for free. It only takes a few seconds, but it could be one of the best decisions you ever make. So don't miss this opportunity, inshallah. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video or send me a message and I'll do my best to reply, inshallah. That's it for this time. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for new Dawah Attic videos coming soon, inshallah. Thanks for watching. Peace. Assalamu alaikum. Dies for deen, al-Islam, religion with Allah since time began.